There are two types of surgeries for a degenerative knee. One is arthroscopic surgery where surgeons can use minimally invasive techniques to clean up the knee. The other is a knee replacement surgery. Let's first discuss the cleanup surgery, which is an arthroscopic partial meniscectomy and debridement surgery. Over the last decade, this has become one of the most commonly performed orthopedic surgeries in the United States. But recent clinical trial evidence has shown that arthroscopic surgery should only be performed after an extensive trial of non-surgical management has failed, and even then, surgery may not result in better outcomes. For example, there are now numerous clinical trials that compare arthroscopic surgery to physical therapy, and the five-year outcomes show that there is no difference between getting surgery and continuing with exercise therapy. Systematic reviews and meta-analysis of these trials conclude that exercise therapy results in a lower risk of knee osteoarthritis progression while also having comparable effects on pain and knee function. More alarmingly is the data comparing arthroscopic surgery to a sham placebo surgery. First and foremost, there was no difference in patient outcomes at one year, two years, and five years post-surgery. This means that arthroscopic surgery offered no clinical benefit when compared to placebo surgery. What's worse is that the researchers found that arthroscopic surgery was associated with an increased risk of progressive arthritis when compared to a placebo surgery. In contrast, head-to-head -head trials comparing arthroscopic surgery to platelet-rich plasma injections for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis show that PRP injections resulted in greater reductions to pain and functional improvements. So for all the above reasons, I do not recommend arthroscopic surgery for the treatment of knee osteoarthritis, nor for the treatment of degenerative meniscus tears.